Hello there, Cancer, and welcome back to another reading. How are you guys doing this week? I wanna say thank you to those of you who have purchased extendeds with me and privates, uh, private readings. If you guys want to, down below in the description box is all the information you need. So, Cancer, three cards for your main energy here. And then we'll dive in with tarot see what we can get see what messages this week for cancer what do we have this week for cancer what do we have what does cancer need to hear this week okay we have a contract in the reverse something has finished something has finished here cancer Man holding a heart in the reverse. Storm warning in the reverse. Huh. So we have indecision in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. Cancer, I feel like you guys have stopped investing in something, a person, a relationship, okay? You stopped giving your energy, your time, your effort, and your heart space to a specific situation. Something has come to an end here with contract. You guys may have pulled your energy back and you're not giving any more to a, a love situation that you were giving to before in the past. And I feel with the excuse me, with the indecision card here, you guys were really confused. Maybe you didn't know whether it was over or not, or whether or not you should continue to give romance to the situation. You're holding back your heart and, and your heart space from giving to this situation. And I feel storm warning here is all about literally <laughs> two things. One, getting out of your head about this with this air energy and two, being able to avoid any kind of dramas or situations that are going to affect how much love you put into into this person or into a situation and love in the future. So let's go ahead and see what we have with tarot for you guys. Sometimes drama llama is the worst. You just want to avoid it. Okay, sometimes you just like, wait, you know what? Like, why am I... Why am I bothering? Why did I bother? Why did I spend? I'm hearing this. Why did I spend so much time on this uh, contract? Could have been something karmic, okay? Could have even been here that you got a divorce. And now it's coming to an end. Like, you're, you're out of the woods, okay? But let's see. Someone may have caused unnecessary drama in your life that you didn't need, Cancer. Tell us about this contract that's ending this week. Yeah, you're just not putting uh, any energy into that situation this week, okay? Not anymore, at least for now. We have the Nine of Cups. So the fact that it's over is making you feel pretty good. It's got you feeling emotionally satisfied. The Tower. Oh my. Why do I get the feeling that the other person... Oh my goodness. Like you're watching, you're watching the tower fall. I hate to say this. Some of you guys may be getting like some kind of self-satisfaction from watching things kind of fall apart for this person. Or there's something that maybe they were watching within you that was falling apart or all of the effort that you were putting in. Like it was a shock and they were more focused on themselves, like focused on their emotional, you know, greediness or their own emotions. Their like you, you feel successful. So it's two different messages here. I, it could be both, actually. Now that I think about it, Cancer, your person maybe was kind of maybe you were mirroring each other. Okay, they themselves were like just focused on their own pleasures, and this caused like a tower to fall here. And then we have you maybe looking at the fact that you've gotten through this entire contract, this relationship has somehow unscathed when it comes to your life. So, or at least 
to them. So let's take a look at man holding a heart in the reverse. So be careful about closing your heart off, Cancer. I feel like this is a big deal right now. We have the moon in reverse. You're clear. You are clear as freaking day. Okay, you're clear as freaking day about this situation and what you don't want to do anymore. This person may have had you confused or you were, like I said, we had indecision in the reverse over there. You may have been very confused before, but not anymore. You know now that this is not what you want to give to. Cards keep trying to come out, so I'm going to take this one. Yep, you're releasing this burden. Ten of wands. I feel like you put, you put on yourself, Cancer, a lot of responsibility in this relationship or you just put... You put a lot of effort into it and maybe there wasn't much return on your energy, you know, the love that you were putting in. Be careful. Like, I think you're healing this week or you're, you're, ba you're basically looking at it this week. You're looking at the energies in it. Should I, you know, continue uh, thinking about this or not? I feel like some of you guys are still healing it with the moon card here. Like, it's coming up for clearing. Okay, so let's take a look at storm warning for you guys. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Water energy here. I'll tell you what signs we have in a moment. Six of Wands. Success. Um, so I feel like the more you hold back or you don't put emotions into uh, this kind of drama and bullshit here with Storm Warning, the better and more successful if you're, you're walking off into the sunset. Like, I feel like you, you really are. I feel like you're walking off. You feel successful. Um, Knight of Cups in reverse, you're kind of like, well, you know, you may still have some feelings I, I hear for this person, but it's over. Like, I just feel like it is some, this energy, you're, you're done putting into it emotionally. You're not going to put any more energy. You're not going to, you may not be communicating with this person about uh, your life. You just feel like, what's the point in putting emotions into this person? So I feel like that's what's happening here. You're moving away here with the six of wands, feeling pretty damn successful. Your challenge on the bottom of the deck is the magician. So this is seeing the truth already with the moon card in reverse and you um, recognizing uh, how reality works or how to bring things, new things into your reality and to shake yourself out of any kind of energies that may be trying to trick you, okay? Two of pentacles underneath that. And the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this week is a, a time for you, Cancer, to, to be considering your future goals or your, your money even or what you're doing. You're focusing on your responsibility this week and moving very slowly, I think, before you actually ever offer something up again. We've got Queen of Wands in reverse. This could be your person, a fire sign, okay? That maybe you want to offer to a fire sign, but you're doing it very, very slowly, there's something here that needs to grow and be ripped up. Okay, the soil is kind of... Ugh. So yeah, your challenge this week is moving away from trickery and into authenticity and no longer putting your heart space out on the line for this person. So let's see what we have for you this week in advice. Groovy. Groovy Cancer. You guys may be feeling defensive, I'm hearing right now. Uh, the energy is gaining momentum. Huh. Storm warning. So I feel like maybe for some of you guys, you know this person's going to be back around. Or there's some kind of energy building up that has to do with something more positive on the opposite end of the spectrum. Work through your fears. Scorpio energy. You guys are changing. Okay, you're changing this energy this week and working through fears around something that happened with this, this, the end of this contract. And then we have expect powerful change. So yeah, this is a, a growth period for you guys this week. You guys may be just feeling like, yeah, whatever, I'm not going to put as much into that. What's the point? <laughs> it's over. That's what I'm hearing. No more emotion or at least holding back and not giving as much as you did before to see what happens. And this is making you feel pretty damn good. It is. Okay. So let's go on over to the extended. We're going to take a look. Maybe you want to see how your person feels about you. Oh, 
For signs, we have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, um, possible fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and possible air sign, uh, Aquarius, Libra, and maybe Gemini. Okay. I will see you in the extended, Cancer. Bye.